What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Lands of Elysian. I am excited to be here. I'm standing on a brand new dock, and uh, there's a reason for that. We are going to be building a new ship, not today, but very, very soon. And uh, I believe this ship may actually be the very first one in this world to be using our command block transportation. It, probably even before the airship that we just built recently, which is still a work in progress. But uh, let's let's just get started with today and I'll fill you in with everything that's been going on. I actually had a different episode recorded for today and um, Windows Update ruined it. I, I fell victim, yes, yes, I fell victim to another Windows Update and <laughs> it ruined the audio. It didn't record any of my mic. I, this is why I despise Windows updates. It ruins your configuration settings from time to time. Not always, but there's always a good chance for it to happen. And I recorded so much and it just, it was all ruined. I couldn't use it, so that's why I'm discussing stuff with you today. But we did make a pretty good progress on our airship. Check it out. We've got uh, a quarter of the balloon. We've got a quarter of the balloon built, and I've been trying to find a unique way of actually building this because I don't want it to be like a giant pill in the sky. I mean, that just looks weird. So what I've been kind of doing is using depth to the best of my uh, abilities with this size. If we zoom in on this, you can see that we've got all a bunch of shapes happening. We've got uh, gray wool or a type of a netting, which is holding the balloon in place so that the balloon just doesn't float into space. We've got chains that's collecting the netting to the airship all over the place. And then we've got the balloon itself, which is the white wool. And I'm trying to make it look like that is kind of bubbling out from the netting in places. So we're trying to make it look, um, I don't know, as, as, well-defined or, or shapely as we can. You know, it, a balloon like this isn't gonna be perfectly, perfectly round. It's going to have some pulling and stretching here and there. So that's what we're trying to mimic. And we only got a quarter about, yeah, about a quarter of that done so far. And that's because, well, our wool farm, our, we don't really have a wool farm. We have a sheep cooker, which provides us with wool, but it sucks. And I think it's probably time we actually make a wool farm. And I was contemplating doing that up in the barn, redecorating the barn, rebuilding the inside of the barn and turning that inside barn area into a wool farm. However, I have a better idea. And that brings us to our dock. We have a village that is over by our stronghold. In fact, it's pretty much right outside of our stronghold. And I think this might take a little bit more priority then our p p uh, pirate kingdom, I almost couldn't get that out, our pirate kingdom that uh, we were going to build, I think we're going to have to build a little village outside of our stronghold with ruins and a castle ruins, which is the stronghold. And we're just going to make this little village a, a wool supplier. Well, enough discussion. Let's get out to that other village way out there and we're going to just build up a wool farm. So let's get a, a boat here. going to need that. Let's put down the boat. Courage, you're coming with us this time, so let's do this. Get in the boat, buddy. There you go. Awesome. And cue the pirate music. Okay, we've made it and, oh boy, just in time for a nap. That's not good. Let's lay down our bed right here. And can't sleep yet. Maybe just take it with us then. Right. Ah, uh, we need to figure out where we're gonna put this wool farm. And I'm thinking off to this side might be best. 
There's a lot of cows here. There's some horses over there. This seems like a good farm area. Potential farm area. We've got a gray sheep. That's perfect. And I think I saw a brown sheep pass that way too. Hmm. I think, I think this house right here is going to be good for the barn. So let's get to sleep and then we'll clear this place out. All right, and I think we've done it. This is the beginnings of a automatic sheep farm, so this should work out really, really well for us here. And, oh, oh, oh. Oop, oop, oop. Almost missed this. Because I'm gonna have to get rid of that one. And that's gonna connect like that. Oh, okay, so that also means one of these has that. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now, sir, am I? I, I feel like I'm really intruding on your lands here. Uh, you, you've been inspecting me. You've been sleeping in my bed. You've been. That's my dog. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to improve your little town here. I hope you don't mind. Uh, uh, courage. Let's go find some wheat. Because we've got to attract some sheep into these these spots. Oh, they got an iron golem. Tread carefully. Do not hurt a soul. Where? Ooh, there we go. There's a little farm. We can probably get some from the hay bar barrels there, but you know, we This is fresh. Gotta get some before. Oh, yeah! Ha! Ah, great. Okay. Sheep. Got one here. And you can you can beat the white wool guy. All right, let's -a go. Okay, okay, okay. Sheep, sheep, sheep. There we go. Sweet. The cow is no longer following us. So we're gonna jump up here. What we're gonna do is try to lure this guy into that hole. Come on, sheep. Just like, th th yeah, there you go. All right, so what's going to happen with you is we're going to close you off. Psh, there we go. And then we continue on with our sheep hunting until we have enough for that one side. 
Now eventually there is going to be two sides to this sheep farm because we're going to try to have uh, one of each color. We've got another... Oh, we've got... You, you go away. Okay, I don't mind... Don't mind having another white one because we can uh, we can dye them. Oh, we got a kitty cat here. What, what? That's where we got the two cats for our creeper farm. I guess they're spawning back. Oh, oh, oh. Sheep, come on. Let's go. Uh, uh, um, go. Okay, now your turn. I guess let's... Um... Oh, oh, <gasps> courage. Why did you, what did you do? You're gonna, you, you know what? You know what? You're gonna have to sit right there. Just, just watch the sheep. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm not finding any more sheep in the current area of this village, which means I'm probably going to have to travel out a little bit further past the village limits in order to find more sheep, which really shouldn't be much of a problem. We've got almost every single slot full, we just need two for just this one side, and then eventually I'm going to duplicate this farm on the opposite side. Uh, by doing the farm first, it's going to allow me to see how much room I have to build the exterior for this barn. And then what I'll probably do is just build a little fenced area out here, which will be kind of like the entrance to a little grazing area in front of the barn. Now, what I'm trying to think of right now is how am I going to make this accessible so I can actually um, work with this? I want to be able to see the sheep, but I also want to be able to access the sheep in case I want to change their color. Uh, a good option might be to maybe put some stairs here and we can probably put down an upside down stair like that. That way I can actually reach in here and dye these guys different colors. We'll keep this one cobble at the bottom and we'll keep it cobble at the top. Then we'll come over here, switch this up and put stone brick at the top. And then we'll come back, switch this up to uh, stone brick and stone brick up here at the top. Switch this one out for stone brick. And we'll put cobble at the top. And that way there's kind of like this change in pattern. I like that a lot. And the outside one, we can just kind of keep that blocks because we can reach it from the inside. We don't need to have double for the end pieces. Okay, so what I need to do is grab all this iron. I'm going to just make tons and tons of shears. Oh, I wish I wish that would stack. I wish that would stack so bad. So we're going to just put in all the shears here, come to this next one, put in all the shears here. Right, and with the last dispenser filled up, we can actually come over here and start dumping a lot of shears in this top chest, which will keep this filled. So I'm going to dump those in there, and we're going to just keep piling this up with shears. As many as we possibly can. And this should make the last bit of shears that are going into the system. So that's going to keep filling it up all the way down. Eventually what's going to happen is this thing is just going to be jam-packed full of shears. So if we look in here, see that the hoppers are starting to fill up quite nicely all the way down right and wow how far back oh, wow this is great oh okay so about here okay, we've only filled up a good portion of it but it's got plenty so far and you can hear it working already which is actually super nice so so far it's been activating quite a number of times and if we take a look down here you can see we're starting to collect a decent amount of wool and we have six white eight and uh, eight light gray and then ten brown. So we need to change the colors. And, and now, <laughs> and now I don't know what's what. Oh, brother. So the cool thing about this is once we have this farm up and running, uh, it'll be a covered barn. And then we'll have the grazing area out here, like we said before, probably up to the side here too, since there's a bit of extra space here. 
and we'll create an AFK area up above so that you can kind of stay up there and just be safe from all the mobs that will spawn at night. We'll turn this village into a nice little village that is just a farming village and they will have uh, other crops, uh, some large fields, and um, just, just this major resource of wool here. This is going to be really, really nice. And you can see that we're going to be trading from Fenrir lots of iron for this wool here. So that's going to work out a nice little trade system there, which is really cool. And uh, the ship, we're going to work out the dock. We're going to uh, try to import the dock over here as well with the same ship that's going to be back at Fenrir. That way we'll be able to just go back and forth really easily to this village. And then out that direction, right over this hill, is where our stronghold is. So we're going to start to build up ruins of an ancient castle and that will lead down into the stronghold area, which is going to be super nice. So we have a purpose for this village now, which actually works out very, very well. I'm super excited to get this done now. For now, I'm going to have to go back to Fenrir, though, because uh, we're going to need a little bit more supplies, especially iron, to keep this well uh, stacked. In fact, I might even create a little storage area over here for iron, iron blocks, in case uh, we ever run out here that we'll have a steady supply uh, to refill back in and then we'll just have to worry about what's out here. All right, I guess it's time to pack things up. So let's get out of here, get all this stuff. I believe this should be my hook touch. There we go, silky touchy. Nice, all right, cool. So we'll be back very soon to complete this farm. I actually found two more sheep way out that way. And I just brought them over real quick, so that way no, no, no shears get wasted in this. And I'm going to take back the gray wool and the white wool that we've acquired so far here. So that'll help us with our airship design. And fantastic! So I'm noticing something else. This place has a lot of flowers. We probably turn this into a nice uh, flower farm out here and there's even bees out that way and I think we saw one coming in the ocean over here floating over the water and uh yeah that might actually be a great little spot for a bee farm too so we've got some ideas that we can really utilize here and create a nice little trade system happening but for now let's get out of here all right everybody we made it back to the Fenrir kingdom we are just so glad to be back it's it's always so pleasant to be back here but let's talk about the, the lost episode, the one that had the recording issue that would have been today, but didn't quite make it because of the audio issue. You're noticing I'm wearing netherite armor, and that's because that episode, the lost episode, I don't know what to call it, the, last ep the lost episode, we took gunpowder from our creeper farm, we made a bunch of TNT, we went into the nether, and we tried to find ancient debris. Now we lucked out, we actually found about 14 pieces of ancient debris, which was enough to make this armor. The other thing that we did that episode was show you the ship behind me. Yep, we finished the royal ship. It's back there, it's got all these great sails, triple mast, it's, it's so huge, and it's got all these floors. I'll have to show you that again next time, and in a different episode, but you can see all the sails in this thing. I spent so much time getting wool at the the farms here that I'm just tired of it. And now trying to get wool for the balloon for our airship. Yeah, this is why we went out to the other village by our stronghold and needed to make an auto wool farm. We just had to. The other thing we did was take flight for the first time using our elytra over the kingdom of Fenrir. And unfortunately, we can't enjoy that firsthand because of the lost episode, but hopefully you're still enjoying it regardless through the recap footage I'm showing while discussing these things. So yeah, it's, it's, it was great. It was such a great episode, but ah oh, man, it's, it's just a shame that the audio issue had to occur due to a Windows update. But for now, let's get to comment of the day. For our first comment, we have King Slime. Beautiful. Everything is so beautiful builds. Thanks. In this series, we're trying to make things beautiful and well hidden, but very functional. I think we're we're heading in that direction, and, and your comment kind of confirms that, so thank you so much. Next we have Adela Butterfly, one of our own Obsidian Order 
members. Adela says, why do creepers always hang around outside doors? I don't know, but they're pretty much after me at this point, I think. It'd be worse though, I guess it could probably be a salesman trying to remind me that my auto insurance is about to expire for the millionth time. Then we have Hazard Us 104. Well, hey back and love you too. And much love to everybody. Thank you all for the comments. All right, you've made it this far. I've got some bigger news for you. There are things happening, things happening with my channel lately that are absolutely amazing. We have been at this for quite a long time, very long. And I've been learning so much over the years that we've been creating content on YouTube. I've learned that Fallout and Minecraft are some of my most favorite games ever. The communities with both games are absolutely amazing. Each game is amazing in their own right. And you know, it doesn't matter what preference brought you here. I'm just glad that you're here and that there's always going to be something for you here, regardless of which way you lean on the content side. If you like Minecraft, you don't have to appreciate the Fallout stuff and vice versa. But it's there for you, in case maybe you discover something new or not. And that's okay. But that being said, we have grown tremendously. The past few days, we have gained over 600 subscribers. At the time of recording this, we're really close to 2,000 subscribers. My mind is blown. And I appreciate all of you. All of you newcomers that are here, welcome. Thank you. You all are amazing. All of you. Yes. Absolutely. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I hope that you enjoy the content I produce here and get to know me as a content creator because I, I, I'm in, I've been enjoying this. I've been enjoying this journey very much. And I think what's going to happen is soon you're going to see an episode that is from my perspective of Fix's episode that I collabed on. So be ready for that. I'm currently trying to find what works, what, what mod pack works best for that situation, for my perspective of the story. And it's going to be really interesting. The other thing is we may try to do something Fallout related like that. But it's going to be harder to do that with that platform. And there's going to be also a bunch. I'm just so excited. There's going to be a, a, a bunch of new things, too, that I'm, I'm trying to keep ideas on and uh, just write things down. So hopefully things uh, will progress very well in the future or the near future with the channel. Anyways, guys, I've rambled on so much today. I hope you guys have been having fun and I'll see you all next time. Have a great one. Thank you so much.